Hey guys, we're back with another review. Again, sent to me for free. We've got a, uh, a deck box holder sort of thing. It's like a carrying case uh, from a company called Infinity Guard. I believe I have uh, reviewed some of their stuff in the past. And this is a card case. Uh, as you can see here, it's got the name there, Infinity Guard. It actually looks pretty nice. Uh, it says here, let's see if I can bring this out here, hold up to 400 uh, Pokemon TCG cards, smooth zipper and stylish silicone zipper. Okay, so are there two zippers? <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, pull for secure closure, uh, removable hand strap, and carabiner. Carabiner? What is a carabiner? Uh, top grade EVA covered with waterproof PU leather and Oxford fabric. Okay, so interesting. Let's go ahead and open this up. And we'll take a look at this and we'll see if it's worth your money. Well, there's a very. Uh, <laughs> A very interesting design choice there. I wonder uh, who they got that design from. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let me see. At first glance, actually feels okay. Feels uh, fairly smooth here. It smells just like material. There is no. Uh, doesn't feel like there's any sort of leather or anything on here. Okay, and the bottom has kind of a sort of a canvas feeling sort of thing. So it actually does grip a little bit. Yeah, on, on this mat, it's going to slide around a little bit, but yeah, it actually does have a little bit of grip to it, so not bad. Okay, and then what do we got here? Oh, the little zipper. Oh, I actually like that. That's a nice little touch. <laughs> That's cool looking. Okay. Yeah, and then here, I guess, is the little thing where you would put the strap on. I can hear the strap inside, so let's go ahead and test this zipper. It's a little, a little, a little stiff. Not too stiff, though, actually. Feels okay. Around the corners, it's pretty normal for it to get a little stiff. So yeah, that's actually pretty normal. All right, let's open this thing up. All right, so we got ourselves a little inner uh, thing here. It's kind of kind of a stretchy material. And then we've got oh, a little. Whoa, what in the? Oh, I see. Okay, so this is our carrying strap. What's with the climber clip? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that's strange because the strap, which is right here which is actually fairly decently made, I guess. Yeah, the actual material is pretty good. This, the, let me see, is this steel or is this aluminum? It looks like this little notch here is steel, but the rest of this feels like it's probably aluminum. Yeah, because the climber's clip is throwing me off a little bit because I've got the little clip here that's supposed to go out here like this, and there you go. So, what's with the extra climber clip? Uh, I guess maybe to put this in here and maybe you can hook it to something else, like a backpack maybe, I guess. Yeah, I guess that could work. Um, as far as this particular clip, it looks like this part is steel. This is... Uh, yeah, it looks like this is some kind of aluminum. This part is steel, and I can't really tell what the bolt is. It doesn't, yeah, it's not very magnetic at all. This part is, this part isn't, okay. So it looks like the outside is aluminum, this part is steel. Um, I don't know how good the steel that they used is, because it's not super magnetic. This is a neodymium magnet that I have here. These things are insanely strong. And it does stick, but it's very easy to pull off of. In fact, let me see, I think I have a steel rod here. Yeah, this one, yeah, this actually, you can tell this is a better a better quality steel, or it just has more iron in it because it's much more magnetic. Yeah, definitely more magnetic than this thing. All right, so let's get rid of our uh, silica gel. Uh, obviously, kids do not eat that. And that's the inside of the box, so I guess this would be like the little center thing you could use to separate your cards, and it does have some Velcro on either of the sides. So let's see if we can actually get this installed the way we want. Okay, so I imagine it would go something like this. Okay, and the way I saw it in some of the pictures they sent me is that it says you're supposed to put your cards in there directly. It doesn't say anything about using a deck box. So we've got our test deck here. Okay, so that would go right in. All right, and then I guess if you wanted to, you could put another one over here. Well, on the other side, it's gonna be a little bit of a tighter fit though. Um, yeah, as you can see, the cards don't just slide right in. 
Now that could just be me not lining up the center divider quite right. Let me pull my cards out here. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Okay, I'll put you there. I'll put you right over here. Okay. So let's try again. Well, now it looks like this side is much larger than this one. Because, yeah, look, this goes right in. Hmm. And again, same issue. Putting it over here. Yeah, that's not going to not gonna slide right in. So, hmm. Because the thing is, just from the design, uh, <laughs> you can tell this was kind of meant to be geared toward Pokemon card players. Now, even younger players already use sleeves. So, I mean, technically, if you wanted to, you could squeeze in just an unsleeved Pokemon card like that. Um, I would not be happy with my cards bouncing around in there, though, but technically you could do it. Um, let me see. Would it actually be big enough for a deck box? Uh, no. Unless you move this way over, then, yeah, I don't think this would be good for a modern deck box. Let me move this over a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so... That does fit in, but obviously you're not going to be able to close it. So that's a modern day deck box. What about our old school Ultra Pro, which is right here? That would work. Yeah, you'd be able to close with that. The only problem is this deck box sticks out so much that if you had like any dice or counters or anything to put right in here, um, then it's going to really push up against those. I actually don't have any dice around right now, so I can't even put them in there. And that's another concern that I have. Um, this is mesh, and it is stretchy. Well, the mesh itself isn't stretchy, but this part, the little band, is. So, say for example, you go, you get your deck of cards, you stick them in there, uh, they come all the way up to the brim, basically. Um, if you've got dice and counters in here, I'd be a little worried for the card that's going to be at the very top. Because that, those dice and counters will probably rub up against that... Uh, particular card. So, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's a card of 60, right? Or not a card of 60. A deck of 60 cards right there. So, if I were to, you know, have that in here. Let me see. And again, just this I just have batteries here. Give me a break. I've put some uh, some counters <laughs> in here. Like if say I know how the Pokémon has those little dice coins that you use. Could you put them in here and seal it up? and then be comfortable with your cards and everything bouncing around in there with those counters as close as they are. I don't know, man. Um, oh, well, the batteries fell right out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even bounce this thing around that much, and these batteries fell right out of there. So if you put counters or dice or anything in that top flap, um, they're going to go flying. So that almost renders this top flap kind of useless. I think a better design would have been to make this flush with the very top and then use the uh, the stretchy uh, fabric here to let you pull on it, put stuff in, and then it would just go right back and then it would be flat again. Because if it's flat like this, uh, any counters would be far better uh, suited to not move around. So uh, I'm not crazy about this. Um, seems a little weird. I mean, overall, the construction actually feels pretty nice. Uh, I can't complain about that. My concern is going to be, are my cards going to get damaged? Um, because obviously, they're, the, the counters and stuff are going to fall out of that. So, yeah, a little, uh, little concern there. I guess in a situation like this, I would just feel better leaving my cards in a simple deck box like this Ultra Pro. Stick it in there, and then just doing that. So it's kind of like a case for your deck box, but again, it's like it's in a very awkward size because I can tell you right now, you, you're not going to be able to fit a second deck box in there. You're just not. You can remove this center thing altogether and that is not nearly enough room. If I go sideways, yeah, that's not going to close. Yeah. A very awkwardly designed item here. Again, the 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 materials are great. They're fine. Uh, I don't really see too many problems here as far as fit and finish. I, I just am not crazy about this design. It feels like 
It really feels like it should just be designed differently. Again, it should be a little bit wider if you're expecting people to use deck boxes in it. If not, if you're expecting them to just put their cards directly into this thing, I would appreciate a little bit more cushion around the inside of the box there. And again, this should be flush with the top instead of having that little space there that you can kind of see on camera. Yeah. Uh, good materials, awkwardly designed. Um, this is a toss up to me. I probably would not be happy with this if I were to use it. Um, but again, I, there may be some other use cases out there that I'm just not thinking about. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's our review of the Infinity Guard uh, card box. I will put an affiliate link down there at the bottom or in the description. So if you decide to take a look at their products, you're more than welcome to. Uh, again, this was sent over to me for free so that I could go over and review it for you guys. Um, this will probably go into my pile of things that will probably eventually give away, so <laughs> be on the lookout for that. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you all like and subscribe and all of this stuff. Because you all watch these videos, I am able to get more of these products and review them here for you, tell you what I think. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.